Okay, so today I'm using this balloon to simulate the swim bladder of a fish. And I've also got some weights attached to it. Um, and the, so these are sort of simulating the weight of the fish that normally would drag it down. And in a fish's swim bladder, it's filled with gas so that it would keep it neutrally buoyant. And so what we're gonna do is place it inside of this canister and slowly increase the pressure. Ready? So we're gonna screw this on and we seal it up so that we can increase the pressure. Make sure it's nice and tight. Got everything all connected now. So I'm gonna flip on the pump, shut our bleed valve, and you can see water going in right now. Because there's not a whole lot of pressure on the gas inside that balloon, it takes up a lot of volume. It's basically displacing water. And by doing that, it increases its buoyancy. So the pressure in here is starting to decrease the volume enough inside that balloon that we can see it sink. Okay, so we're at about 50 PSI right now, which according to the Coca-Cola company is how much pressure is inside of a can of Coca-Cola in a room temperature room. It is equivalent to diving down about 110 feet under the ocean. 15 PSI is atmospheric pressure at sea level. And you can see that the balloon has shrunk quite a bit. When it went in, it was about the size of a tennis ball. Now it's about the size of a ping pong ball or so. And if I continue to increase the pressure, it will get even smaller. So the gas inside the balloon is being pressurized. So what Boyle's Law tells us is that as you increase the pressure on a gas, the volume decreases. And also as you decrease the pressure, the volume of a gas increases. And that's because the, the atoms or the molecules inside the gases have space between them. And as you increase the pressure, those atoms and molecules get closer together. And so they occupy less volume or less space. It's still the same number of molecules in there, but what happened was the molecules get closer because of greater pressure. And so the volume decreases. So now what I'm gonna do is release all the pressure that's inside of here. And the volume of the gas is gonna increase and you can see it floats right back up to the surface. Mm -hmm. 